So we are going to understand how to find the gap in literature and how to write the gap analysis. Please make sure that this is only a guide for a graduate level. Because when we go to uh, some higher level of research, then there are other methods to find the gap. The first thing that we can use here is the researcher needs to find the blind spot or the blank spot in literature. Blind spot, for example, nobody ever thought about it. So you can do that thing which has not been done by the previous research. The other thing is the blank spot. The blank spot is that people have done a few things, but within the same context, they have left a few things untouched. So for simple initial level gap analysis, the best method is that you need to find a latest paper in your area of research. For example, if you are interested in uh, knowing job about job satisfaction, maybe purchase intention, digital marketing, or anything that you want to do in research, you need to find the latest paper in your area of interest. Now, latest means that it should not be uh, more than one to two years old. For example, if you are in 2020, you need to find a paper which is published in 2020 or maximum 2019. So the latest paper should be there. Now, after skimming that paper, which means just uh, give it a look, read the abstract, and see the model, which is a theoretical framework, and which variables the researcher has used, and what kind of method methodology has been used to conduct that research. So if you like this paper, and this is what you were looking for, and this is something that you want to do, then there is next step that if you find it interesting, Read the future research suggestions by using the control F function or control find function that we're just going to do in a few minutes. So once you read their suggestions, note them, and then the, the suggestions from the previous research, which is the latest one, is going to be your area of contribution. So what other people could not do, you are going to do it and then these suggestions can be your contribution. Now, let's just go to uh, one of the papers. So this is one paper that I've just found, for example, and it says that team goal orientation and information exchange on creativity and innovation in advertising agencies of Pakistan. Suppose this is a paper that I like. What you can do is you can start reading the abstract. The main objective of the study is to investigate the impact of team goal orientation. You can read it further and then you're going to see that how data has been collected, how it has been analyzed and what were the findings of the study. So after reading the abstract, you're going to have a good idea that what this paper has done. Then you can always scroll down and you can look at if there is a theoretical framework, you can look, look at the theoretical framework, for example, this is independent variable, these are the two mediators, and this is a dependent variable that has been used. Now, if you like this paper, what we can do is we can just click Control F and we can find the word future. Sometimes it is giving, it has been given as a form of heading, but other times it is just somewhere within the text. So you need to find the future research and limitation part, which is mostly uh, in the last chapter of the research paper after the implications or after the discussion. So let's just read the limitation and the future part and see what these authors missed or could not do and what they have suggested. Now, this study is limited in scope. That is important to mention. The respondents of the study were from the advertising agencies of Pakistan and the data was collected at one point of time. The results that came out of a cross-sectional data can hardly be generalized. Therefore, now see, therefore it is recommended to empirically test the conceptual framework over a large and a different sample 
of respondents for more generalizability of the results. Now it is saying that you can also use it in other industries, for example, not only in advertising agencies. Although the creative teams from the advertising agencies were included for data collection, there are some other industries like fashion, software, apparel design, etc. So what this uh, researcher is suggesting that you can use the same model, but in different industry, which are involved in the creativity and innovation. The future research can take into account such organizations' creative, creative teams and revalidate the results. Then, the suggestion is that team goal orientation has a number of other dimensions, but the present study measured it as a composite variable, as one variable. The future research may examine the relationship of dimensions of team goal orientation to enhance the understanding of the studied variable. Then, no variables were controlled for the hypothesis testing. And this study, in this study, therefore, it is recommended for future studies to validate the results by controlling some demographic variables, for example, age, gender, education, etc. So what we have seen is that after giving the limitations, the researcher, the previous research has already suggested us to go for these options. Now, the same way, look at another paper. Organization structure as a determinant of job burnout, an exploratory study on Pakistani pediatric nurses. So here, after reading the abstract, you can just go through it. And this is the main uh, area of practice. And then just scroll down and look at this paper. If you like it, what we can do is again, control F and future study. So here, it has been discussed as part of the future study. Now here, if you can see it clearly, the future studies have been mentioned that how we can use the same research. If the study was limited to exploratory design, additional research was will ascertain the replicability of the result in other hospitals and determine whether findings differ by type of hospital and nursing staff surveyed. Although burnout is a multidimensional construct, this study measured burnout from the perspective of emotional exhaustion only and did not consider its other dimensions. Future research should investigate the impact of organizational structure on burnout's other dimensions of ineffectiveness and uh, depersonalization as well as the emotional exhaustion. So this is how you actually find the research gap that what has been missed in the previous research and what you can do in the research that you are going to conduct. The second part is that what do we write in the and how do we write in the gap analysis? Again, this is for a very uh, start of the research. For example, if you're conducting your research for the first time, then you can use this. Otherwise, if you go to a higher level, then there are other methods and it's, it is it is more complicated. How do you write it? What the previous research has done, what have they suggested, and how you have taken their suggestions in order to build your theoretical contribution. So how do we say it? The previous research by Bilal and Ahmed 2020 was focused on examining the relationship between X, Y, Z variables and the ABC variable. Research, which research? This research. The research suggested that instead of X, Y, Z, the future research can use M and O variables to identify the relationship. Also suggested to test these hypotheses in some other country or in some other industry. Therefore, the present research is, is investigating the MNO variable relationship with ABC in Pakistani context. So this is how you can write it. Now, the last thing is that how many papers should we use to write our gap analysis? Initially, one to two paper, one should be a latest one, and then the other can be a little uh, older. 
can be used one two or three papers are enough at your bachelor's level but when you go to the ms and phd level then a lot of rigor is required which means you have to find the gap from multiple papers and from latest as well as previous studies so this is all about how to find the gap in literature and doing the gap analysis and then what to write and how to write the gap analysis